What's up everyone, Zach Detmore here and I got an amazing video coming to you today. Uh, my buddy Mike Caballero has a plumbing company with an amazing plumbing van that he built and he shares all the details of how he built it. So I was so stoked on this, I asked him if I could shoot some videos on it and I'll throw it to Mike so you can take a look at it. How you doing guys? My name is Michael Caballero. I'm the third generation of Caballero & Sons Plumbing and Heating and this is my 2020 Ford Transit. Obviously a plumber as you could tell by the back of the truck and um, I do mostly uh, kitchen remodeling and service work. I have everything on my truck to fix and repair and I have the tools to actually do the job as well. So I want to take you inside and show you what I have set up in here. This is the back of the van and the shelving that I put in this truck which including the door skins are from jmplumbingvans.com and they sell these door skins um, that you attach to the truck with rivets and they have a variety of different holders for different tools and accessories. The way my truck's laid out with all the material, um, we got all my toilet, we're gonna, um, all my toilet parts are on this side of the truck and all my faucet and sink supplies are on this side of the truck. So I put the most used stuff at easy reach, so obviously so I could see it and um, got it laid out from wax rings to fill valves to toilet handles to flush valves to tank the bulkheads. So pretty much all that stuff is right here. Easy for me to do, that's most common. And then as we move down a little bit, I have some water heater repair stuff, simple stuff, and then move into some light heating stuff. I don't do too much heating right now, so I just have a couple little random parts in case I'm in a pinch. And we come this way, I uh, put a lot of different uh, copper straps right here where I organize it in these dividers that they sell. The caulk holders, I got sponges, I got rags, I got my pipe wrench holder, I got caulk gun holder, primer and glue bucket. This is my specific thing that I do. I just wanted to put that out there. I got uh, shovels over here, I got plunger, broom, flux, uh, brushes, you name it, I got it back here. I got MC tank, B tank, hose holder, moving back to the truck. Oh, before I go back, also got the pipe rack holder up here. I have two slots, the bottom ones for plastic, the top ones for copper. And then coming this way, this is all my material. So this section of the van, when I designed it, laying it out, I wanted this truck just to be material. So when I go into the into a job, I need to go get something. I just pull the material, I go back out of the truck. And that checks into the truck is more laid out from the side door. All right, so back here in the van, I got my two drawer and my three drawer pack outs. And I put my, my infrequently used tools in this stuff. So uh, instead of having a bag on the truck, where that's what I used to do at least. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I would just keep a bag in the truck before and I would just throw all these tools in there. It would get dusty and nasty and I'd be picking through it and I didn't, couldn't find something. I'd have to dump it out and scramble through it. But since pack out came with these awesome drawers, I decided to get these and they pretty much hold this stuff perfectly. It's easy access. So when I get out of the truck, I could just get something real quick, take it in and then go. So back here, I got all my pack outs right here and uh, STV racking, uh, Andy Glass, he designed and he fabricated these shelves for me and he packaged them, packaged them in a nice, easy, orderly fashion with super clear instructions to put them all together and uh, I, this is probably the heart of my truck right here where I just open these up and I can either just take out what I want and I can just go or I can just take the whole thing and take it with me. So this is all designed around the pack out system. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but each one of these rolling drawers has cleats on here to attach the pack outs to it. And they also lock on the side with these things that he calls uh, the shark lock. Fancy name for a locking mechanism. So, as we continue, I have uh, the the ammo ones over here. Um, some of them are empty. I just I would say the ones I use the most right now are just the vacuums. Um, I got you know my 18 volt, my 12 volt stuff, right angle drill, miscellaneous 12 volt and 18 volt tools, and same thing on the bottom one, which are a little bit bigger that I don't use as much 
use as much, but I do need them every once in a while. I would say these top two boxes is what I use the most. And then as we move down this way, this is where they, the, the truck kind of collides where the material and the packouts meet. So in these, I just decided to put all my PVC and ABS fittings in here that I use a lot. Up here, I added these other um, half packouts. So we have um, my oscillating tool that I put in the Kaizen foam. So I got all these half packouts up here to try to utilize as much space as I possibly could. If you were watching during this whole video, you saw a couple outlets here. There's one in the back. There's one up here with the batteries. So I wired an inverter in this truck before I put any of the shelving in. Underneath the passenger seat, there is a 3000 watt inverter that will give me power at any access point in the back of the van. When I do main stoppages and snaking out by like a curb where there's a clean out, instead of uh, running extension cord all the way to the house, and going all the way back to the end of the driveway, I could just move the truck to the end of the driveway, plug the machine in. We usually use a Spartan 300 machine, if you guys are familiar with that, and we just kind of go and do that. So those work out awesome for those situations. You know, I could just plug the 300 rigid machine in the back of the truck and I could just start threading right away with no issues. If I'm gonna use the inverter, I always have the van on. And um, I made this uh, wooden panel right here. And then afterwards I bought all the battery holders and I had to just kind of puzzle it all together and it just worked out. Um, I made this as uh, modular as possible. So I can pull this off if I wanted to. And there is a pack out cleat on the back of that. So if my needs change, I am not married to anything. Getting dark outside, obviously at the night and trying to get in and out of van, battery keeps going off. I didn't want to have to turn the truck on and waste gas and or worry about running my alternator dead or my battery dead. So I decided to go on YouTube and, and Amazon. I found a 3D printed Milwaukee battery holder and I wired it in a light. My Caballero again, uh, Caballero and Sons Plumbing and Heating. We're out of uh, Monmouth County, New, Jer New Jersey. Central Jersey, basically, we do all plumbing, you know, from kitchen and bathroom, you know, remodeling with contractors to doing service. You can find us uh, on caballeroplumbing.com. Uh, you can follow us and like us on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed this van tour. Just wanted to show off what I got here and hopefully this helps somebody else with their organization needs. Thank you. Wasn't that a cool video? So many cool tips in there. I'm, I'm in love with this van, it's awesome. So if you wanna see more organizational stuff, please hit subscribe and support my channel. Um, keeps me interested in shooting these organizational related videos. See you next time.